Amber, this has been expected, but then there's more to come. What is more to come now? Is it just more study, more testing? Well, we have been waiting to see the data in children. So this is really exciting to see the beginning data come out. With an infectious disease, it's very hard to stop transmission without also vaccinating children because they can continue to spread it. So uh, everything we know about the biology of SARS-CoV-2 suggests that it would likely be effective. Uh, these vaccines would likely be effective in children, but this is the first data. And it's, uh, it's mm -hmm. important to figure out the right dose. We need to look through all of the data that's provided in the trial, but this seems like a really exciting development. In the right dose, what are the side effects that you're worried about? What are they studying for in terms of side effects? Is it simplistic like heart inflammation or is it much more subtle? Well, the great thing about a trial design is you're open to any side effect, even one of those you might not have expected, right? So um, all the same side effects that are seen in adults would be monitored, but there might be other side effects in children, and those would be captured with the reporting system. So these trials have considered different doses. Sometimes with children, they need the same dose as adults, and sometimes it's a, a smaller dose is the right dosing. So um, this data that's been released today looks like it's for a smaller dose, and it's shown to boost antibody responses and not have high uh, side effects. So we'll have to wait and see what the what the other dosing um, schedule suggests, but I'm sure that information will be submitted for consideration. Amber, what's the time frame from seeking emergency approval from releasing this data for the first time to emergency approval and actually getting kids aged 5 to 11 vaccinated? That's a great question. Last time it took around a month, um, so that is very fast um, can, for, for normal processes. So it, it might be a month, it, it might even be a handful of weeks um, since this builds on previous data for a similar vaccine, same vaccine, different dose, um, but definitely not this week. It would, it would take weeks. There's also the issue of the complicating factor of booster shots and the idea that supplies now have to not just meet the millions of kids who would be eligible, but also people who might be eligible for additional shots. How does this sort of work out in terms of prioritization and supplies that are currently available? Yeah, there has been there have been planning around that there, that point. Um, if the booster demand for boosters hit at the same time as the emergency authorization for children, um, there might be you know slight challenges getting an appointment for for the short term, um, like we saw with with earlier rollouts for a week or two. But there has been a lot of planning. We have a good amount of vaccine, so that would be that would not that situation would not last. We definitely have enough vaccine to extend to children once there's a mute emergency authorization.